Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you're interested in today's video. Speaking of chips, everyone knows that the US and China have been clashing fiercely in recent years. In the first few months of 2023, China's chip imports decreased by 45.5 billion units. A simple calculation puts this at approximately 300 billion renminbi. This isn't a loss of demand, but rather a decline in China's ability to manufacture its own chips, reducing its reliance on imports. Consider this, China used to be the world's largest chip buyer, importing astronomical amounts annually. Now, it's shifting toward domestically produced goods, dealing a significant blow to U.S. chip companies. The stock prices of giants like Intel and AMD have plummeted, impacting their performance. Intel even plans to lay off 20% of its technical staff to save money. Let's start from the beginning. From January to May 2023, China imported 186.5 billion integrated circuits, a 19.6% decrease from the same period the previous year. This decrease was primarily due to basic chips, which previously relied on foreign production but are now being replaced by domestic production lines. Customs data show that imports fell 21.3% to $131.9 billion. Why the decline? Partly due to the global economic downturn and weakened demand, but more importantly, China's self-sufficiency rate is increasing. From 16.6% in 2020 to 23.3% in 2023, this represents a steady increase. Companies like Yangtze Memory Technologies, YMTC, have become a major force. Founded in 2016, it was already producing 232 layer NAND flash memory by 2023, with performance comparable to established brands like Samsung and Micron. YMTC uses the stacking architecture, which separates the memory cells and logic circuits and then bonds them together. This approach enables fast production and stable performance. Over in the United States, chip controls began several years ago. Restrictions on high-end chip exports to China began in 2019, tightened further in October 2022, and again in October 2023. By March 2025, more Chinese entities had been added to the blacklist. The goal was to strangle China's high-tech sector, but what was the result? The value of China's imported chips is expected to fall by 15.4% in 2023, to $349.4 billion, and by 10.8% in volume, to 479.5 billion units. Some of this decline is due to cyclical factors, with demand softening after the pandemic, but domestic substitution also accounts for a significant portion. China's self-sufficiency rate reaches 23% if foreign-known factories in China are included. This is causing significant pain for American companies. Micron's revenue for fiscal 2023 is expected to drop by 49% after China reviewed its products on May 21, citing security risks and prohibiting their use in key sectors. Micron's stock price plummeted, reducing its market capitalization by $66.8 billion. The Chinese market previously accounted for 60% of its revenue, but Yangtze Memory Technologies has now filled the void. On April 6, 2023, the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology held a meeting in Beijing to establish the National Integrated Circuit Standardization Technical Committee. Vice Minister Wang Jiangping chaired the meeting, with the Secretariat located at the China Electronics Standardization Institute. Companies such as Huawei and SMIC attended the meeting to discuss standards for the entire industry chain. This signal is clear, China must concentrate its efforts on major projects. Previously, companies work independently, but now they are standardizing and collaborating on key challenges. The committee's goal is to establish a standards system to promote independent innovation. High-end chip imports account for a small portion, the majority are basic chips, 
and China has already mustered many of these. Production is projected to reach 28.1 billion chips in April 2023, 30 billion in May, and over 140 billion in the first five months. This growth has half flash memory market prices. In 2017, an 8GB memory stick cost 500 yuan, now, a 16GB stick costs only 200 yuan. Yangtze River Storage has made a significant contribution. Starting with 32 layers, it released a product in November 2017, costing $1 billion and requiring a team of 1,000 people to work on it for two years. Facing Samsung's 96-layer chip, it overtook Samsung by leaps and bounds. Stacking allowed it to jump to 128 layers, and by 2023, 232 layers. China's chip imports are expected to decline by 15.4% in 2024, while equipment imports are expected to increase, and domestic production capacity is expected to expand. Yangtze Memory Technologies, YMTC, will begin shipping 294 layer NAND in January 2025. The factory is expanding, with plans to enter the drum market using TruSilicon via TSV technology. The new facility represents a $2.9 billion investment. From January to July 2025, China's total imports fell 1.6% to 10.39 trillion renminbi. YMTC's parent company will undergo restructuring in September 2025, preparing for an IPO. The goal is to capture 15% of the NAN market by the end of 2026. Production will utilize domestically produced tools to circumvent regulations. In the United States, Regulations will be tightened in 2025. NVIDIA and AMD will agree to pay the government 15% of Chinese AI chip sales in exchange for export licenses. NVIDIA will pay the H20 portion, while AMD will pay the MI308 portion. Intel will suffer significant operating losses in 2023 and will lay off 20% of its workforce. The Chinese market accounts for 27% of Intel's market share, while AMD's 15%. AMD is expected to lose $1.5 billion in May 2025. Micron continues to face difficulties. China launched an anti-dumping investigation into U.S. analog chips on September 13, 2025. The Jiangsu Semiconductor Association stated that the dumping margin exceeded 300%. Prices will drop from 3.36 yuan in 2022 to 1.62 yuan in 2024, a 51.77% decrease. The Ministry of Commerce announced on the 27th that the investigation began with applications submitted on July 23rd. What does this signal? China refuses to concede defeat in the chip market. If it can't be defeated, it will become stronger. Previously, Samsung, Hynix, Toshiba, Micron, and Intel control 96% of the flash memory market, with China holding zero share. Now that Yangtze Memory Technologies has carved up the market, the warehouse fire has vanished, and prices have stabilized. Micron only sold in China, not invested, and was the first to respond to sanctions during the trade war. It deserves the scrutiny now. The Ministry of Commerce is furious and complaining about the injustice, but China, having no choice, is using its resources. Now, with domestic suppliers taking over, the impact is minimal.